Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Lisa and uh, today's video is I'm going to read two devotionals for you. Um, one from yesterday and one from today. So yesterday's devotional is titled To be poor in spirit. We're not just talking about money here. Money is just a mechanism to describe who you are and what you care about. It doesn't truly meet your needs in the way we imagine. God does. Of course, God isn't standing there ordering the cashier to place groceries in your bag. They want money. The point is that God is the source of all there is. Mountains, buildings, people, governments, economies, money. Not everyone is poor. Some people in this world without money are suffering, but everyone is poor in spirit, whether they realize it or not. Everyone needs God, and how you handle your money is often an indication of whether you're aware of this truth. If your need for God and your trust in his provision drives you, drives how you earn your money and how you spend it, you'll find your fortune, no matter how much is in your bank account. And the Bible verse for this is, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom in heaven. Matthew 5, 3. And today's devotional is titled, Investing in the Future. Part of the reason it's good to get your finances under control is so that you can start investing. Investing means placing your money or resources into some venture, expecting that it will eventually return a profit. With a savings account, you'll earn interest but mainly the saved money will profit you down the road when you most need it. Some invest in retirement stocks or businesses, but you can also invest your time in the life of another person. You can invest yourself in learning, in healing, in living the life that matters. And that's the point, it's more than just money. Does God want you to earn enough to put food on the table? Of course. But ultimately, God wants you to go beyond living paycheck to paycheck. He wants you to invest in a future that matters. And the Bible verse for this is, Store up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew 6, verses 20 and 21. I hope you all find you well. I hope you all are having a great day. Um... And I know I was supposed to go live last week, but we had a power, two power naps here. Megan had a power nap, and I had a power nap, so I wasn't really awake. But I will be back on live tomorrow. I will be doing the devotional with you tomorrow as well for Friday. And we'll take it from there. So I thank you all for watching. Please give this thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed, and don't forget to turn all those post notifications so you don't miss out on a video or when I go live. So until then, I will see you all soon. Stay healthy, be blessed, and stay safe. Love you all. Bye, guys. Have a great day.